This tutorial is going to pick up right after our GUI tutorial. So this is how to open it with a command using events. So we're going to build our own custom event and we're going to have our GUI listen for that event. And then we're going to fire that event with the command. So the first thing to do is make our custom event and it's pretty simple. Just follow along. So we're going to create a new Java class. GUI event is going to extend event. Make sure you pick the org bucket event event from the list. Uh, any of the other ones will not work and it is not the first one that comes up. You'll notice that it's giving us a warning here that we must implement an abstract method get handlers. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to need a variable private static final since it won't change handler list call it handlers and it will be a new handler list make sure that that gets imported then we're going to override and implement methods we're going to do our get handlers list here and instead of returning null we're going to return handlers and we're going to need one more so that's going to be a public static handler list and it's going to be called get handler list get handler list is going to return handlers as well and now we can add our own imp implementation so this event is just going to carry along the player who it's called upon. So we'll need a player, 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 make sure you import that. And then we'll make a constructor. So public GUI event. This takes in its player as well. And that will set our player. So this dot player equals player. So we can go ahead and add our getter now for that player variable that we have. So we're just going to do public player get player turn player. Keep in mind that you can also use alt plus insert or go up here to code and do generate and you can generate the getter for this variable and that will do this for you. So if you're making an event that has lots of different variables, that might be of use to you. So now we can go ahead and make the command. So go ahead and make a new class, call it GUI command. This implements our command executor just as we've been doing. Uh, and we're going to do our override as well. And we want the on command method. So we're just going to check if just as we've been doing all these times, if the sender is an instance of player and we're going to go ahead and import that. If it is a player, then we can pass that along to the event. So we're going to say bucket dot get server dot get plugin. Oops. Dot get plugin manager dot call event. And we'll say new GUI event. And this will take in the player, which is going to be player sender. So we're going to cast the sender as a player. Don't forget to return true here. Else if the console executed this, then we're just going to say bucket dot get logger dot info. Uh, you must be a player to run this command. And then that will return false at the end. Let's not forget to go to our plugin.yml and register this command. Once our command is written, we can now add it to our plugin YML. So we can add commands and we can add open GUI. 
Once we've added the command to the plugin.yml, we can go head over to our GUI class. This is the one that we wrote in last tutorial. And all we have to do is change this player drop item event to GUI event. And everything should work. Keep in mind that you could create some sort of ID to differentiate different inventories and then have multiple inventories in this one class and then just reference that in the event that you call. If you guys are confused by that and want a tutorial on it, let me know in the comments and leave a like on this video. So the last thing to do is just to register the command with our server. So we're going to say get server dot get plugin command and we'll call it open GUI set executor new GUI command. Now we can go ahead and open up Maven, go to lifecycle, go down to package, package it up. Now we're ready to move the jar file into our server. Now that we're in Minecraft, we can go ahead and type slash open GUI. And you'll see that our GUI opens and we're able to click it. If this video was helpful, leave a like, maybe consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to join my discord link in the description or leave a question in the comments of this video. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I am definitely more active on discord than I am on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.